candidate. And uh, feel free, Mr. McDonough, to make your two minute opening statement. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Brian McDonough. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself, about who I am, where I've been, and what I'm doing. Uh, I live on Henry Road in Ward 1, I'm married to uh, Elizabeth Wagner McDonough. We have three children, uh, Gavin, Kate, and Lauren, who are nine, four, and two. By day, I am an assistant Cuyahoga County prosecutor. Uh, I work for uh, Bill Mason, our elected Cuyahoga County prosecutor. I have been fighting crime for 10 glorious years. Uh, I attended St. Ignatius High School uh, for uh, high school and then for my undergrad, I went to the University of Notre Dame. I attended Cleveland Marshall College of Law uh, for law school. Uh, I love Fairview Park. Uh, we selected Fairview Park as our place to live, purchased a home, we have wonderful city schools. I was interested in uh, running for city council because it was an open seat and there was presently a vacancy. Uh, in the community, I'm active with the Cub Scouts, uh, PAC 401 for St. Angelo Marici. I'm also a volunteer attorney for uh, Hospice of the Western Reserve doing some pro bono work for them. It's an exciting time in Fairview Park. I look forward to uh, the future and what it holds for development. I've had a chance to meet a lot of the residents in Ward 1 going door to door, and I, I really enjoy Fairview Park. It's an exciting time. I believe in it, and it would be an honor to uh, be your next city councilman from Ward 1. Thank you. Hello? Good evening, everyone. My name is Nate Stutney. I first would like to thank everyone for coming out this evening and uh, taking some time out of your busy schedules. I'd also like to thank the League of Women Voters for having this candidate night. We uh, really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank Mayor Patton and the city for having the, uh, this event held at this uh, forum at City Hall uh, for this uh, important uh, occasion. I, I'd like to start off by asking everybody to ask themselves why they live in Fairview Park. Uh, do you live in our city because of the small town atmosphere? Do you live in our city because of the uh, community and its residents? Uh, do you happen to live in our city because of its proximity to the metro parks, to Fairview Hospital, uh, to the airport, uh, to downtown Cleveland and other uh, economic centers? Uh, do you happen to live in, the, in Fairview Park because of the excellent school system and the parochial schools which are nationally recognized? Or do you live in Fairview Park uh, because of the churches and the numer numerous congregations in our community. All of those reasons are important and they're assets to our community. And I, I believe the city needs to work together and promote those assets uh, to enforce and promote economic development. Uh, my parents over 20 years ago uh, came to Fairview Park because of those assets. My wife and I also came to Fairview Park because of those assets. And I'm assuming that everybody in this room uh, came to Fairview Park because of those assets and stayed in Fairview Park because of those assets. Now economic development is important for all residents and homeowners uh, to bring more companies to the tax base and reduce the burden of taxes on our residents and homeowners. Now to give you a little bit of background uh, of myself, I am a Miami University graduate in 2002. I graduated from Cleveland Marshall College of Law in 2004, summa cum laude. I'm a current uh, attorney uh, representing businesses and complex legal matters. I was appointed to the Board of Zoning and Building Appeals of our city in 2010. And I am a devoted husband to my beautiful wife, uh, Jessica, who's in the audience with us tonight. And I'm a proud father of two uh, wonderful young uh, twin boys, Andrew and Theodore, who are hopefully uh, sleeping right now. But, that, that is important for you to consider this November, but most important of, of all is I grew up in Fairview Park. I'm a Fairview Park, I'm a Fairview High School graduate, and I'm loyal to this city. I've seen the highs and lows of this city throughout my residency here, and I've seen the wonderful things that Mayor Patton and her administration have done uh, to further our community. But we cannot rest on those laurels. Thank you. Opening statement from Mr. Minnick, please. You have two minutes. Thank you. First of all, thank the League of Women Voters and thank you people for being here. My involvement with Fairview Park has been extensive, starting with 27 years as a member of the police officer, 13 years as a credit card fraud investigator, and president and associate with the Bush funeral homes. 
Sure. Well, after retiring from the police department, I assumed the War II Council position. And since then, it has been my pleasure also to serve as Council President and Council at Large. Presently, I am chairing the Environment, Public Works, Planning, Zoning, Development Committee of Council. I'm Council's representative to the Planning Design Commission, the Board of Control, Cable Regulatory Staff, and Senior Advisory Council. I've had the pleasure of being part of and watching major changes take place in recent years on the Rain Road and elsewhere in our city. My public service involvement extends far beyond City Council, as I also serve as Chairman of the Business Advisory Council for the schools awarding scholarships to our high school seniors, President Community Council, which recognizes Sizz of the Year, President Fairview Park Fine Arts and Theater Association, President Senior Council Inc., which is responsible for transportation and activities for our seniors. Incidentally, I raised close to $30,000 for the purchase of a new van. Vice President Ferry Park Municipal Foundation, which plans and funds Summerfest. President Ferry Park Senior Apartment Corporation, next door at Woodward Manor, which is owned by St. Andrews Messiah Lutheran and Ferry Grace Churches. Member and past president of Ferry Park Historical Society, member of Chamber of Commerce, Gemini Center, Friends of the Library, Northeast Suburban Council Association, Metropolitan Crime Clinic, Messiah Lutheran Church, and a life member of the Fraternal Order of Police. In recognition of my involvement in this city, I received the prestigious Citizen of the Year Award in 2004. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thanks to the league for putting this on tonight. My background in law and public finance allows me to solve problems and identify issues. That's what I'm about. That's my history over the past eight years in this community. For years, our city desired a rec center and better school facilities. We just had trouble finding a way. For years, we craved financially stable schools after decades of repeated levy votes. I was fortunate that I could help with those issues. In doing so, I worked with people from all walks of life, whether on the school board, the over 150 people involved in Gemini, and the city and the schools that became joint at the hip because of it. My background helped develop the joint use nature of the rec center the field, the track, which allowed Westgate, for the first time in 80 years, to factor into school operations, easing the burden of the taxpaying homeowner. By consolidating school facilities, a lesser bond levy was needed, and Garnett and Coffinberry opened up for redevelopment. It helped free up city funds when the rec department moved off the city's operating fund to one dedicated for rec activities in the rec complex. It helped save hundreds of thousands of dollars in land acquisition fees by having the schools transfer land to the city to handle the rec center's footprint. In essence, this was a form of regionalism because the city and the schools worked together for the benefit of the taxpayer. I never <coughs> meant to get so involved. I just wanted to help bring a rec center and better school facilities to our town and have schools that we can be proud of. Now I would like to help on city council with the issues facing our city. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My thanks to the League of Women Voters for organizing and hosting tonight's Meet the Candidates. It's an honor and privilege to be here. My wife Sherry and our youngest son Adam and I live on Valley Forge Drive. Our older children Heather, Kelly, and Nathan are, as they say, all grown up and pursuing their dreams. My family and I have lived in Fairview Park for over 20 years. I've been involved in our community, in our community as an adult leader in both the Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts and have served as president and coach in the Fairview Park Soccer Association. I was a member of the Fairview Park Master Plan Committee and in the past president of the Valley Forge Homeowners Association and serve on the Flat Rock Homes Board of Directors. I'd like to now continue to give back to our community by representing Ward 3 on City Council. <laughs> like most other municipalities across the state and our country, Fairview Park faced some, some tough challenges in the years ahead. It is important that we have a City Council that will work together with the city administration to ensure that Fairview Park remains a special place to live, work, play, and raise our families. 
The basic cornerstones as to how I will represent Ward 3 on City Council. First, community. On every matter bought, brought before the Council, the impact it may have on the citizens of Fairview Park will always be my primary concern and focus. Common sense. Clear and intelligent thinking because council decisions have ramifications on our citizens. The litmus test is simple. Will it improve or degrade our quality of life? Finally, collaboration. In numbers, there is strength. Consider the positive results our city government has achieved in working together with our public and private schools. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Thank you. Next is Ms. Roshner. Thank you. I would like to thank the League of Women Voters for inviting me to this event and the voters of Fairview Park. I'm proud to be participating in this democratic process. My name is Paul Wojnar and I'm running for Ward 3 City Council. I've lived in Fairview Park for 20 plus years. I chose this community because of the location, education, amenities, and services that it provides. I'm married to my wife Jackie and I have two young children, Seth and Brooke, who are sitting in the audience. I've got a vested interest in this community, and I want to raise my children in this community. I grew up on the west side of Cleveland, went to St. Ignatius High School, and graduated from Cleveland State University with an accounting degree. I worked at UPS for 24 years before being elected by my peers to represent them in 1999. I have been reelected as Secretary Treasurer of Teamsters Union Local 407 for the past nine years. The experience as Secretary Treasurer overseeing budgets and contracts and representing my constituents has prepared me to do the same and represent the people in Ward 3. In addition to my job experience, I've shown the commitment to understanding the issues and procedures by attending almost every City Council meeting and committee meeting since last December. As a candidate, I have walked every neighborhood in Ward 3. I have met many residents and discussed their issues. I believe that most residents want, what most residents want is a committed individual who will communicate with them and be available when needed. If elected, I will be that individual and be Ward 3's voice at City Hall. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Next is Ms. Rochner. 